You took me to bed. And all the time you were lying. Dirty and used. <laughs> well, fair exchange is no robbery. And maybe I'm the one who's feeling dirty and used, eh? And that, that there was nothing to do with Janine, because that was me and you. It was everything to do with Janine. You pretended you knew nothing. I felt sorry for you. You even pretended you knew nothing about Roy. You made me go through all that. I had to. I couldn't tell you I know all about it. I can't come charging up to your shout in the oats. Well, it would have been more honest. Honest? Pot kettle? I wanted to give you every chance to come clean with me. To be straight with me. Besides, I... I desperately wanted to see you again. Get your end away, more like. A suitcase. You didn't want me to see inside that. What's in there? Leave it. What is in there? Something to do with her, isn't it? Leave it. I know it is. Leave it. Definitely something. Got it. My little Janine. With love from your daddy. Teddy bear! That's what she asked for. She never had a teddy bear even when she was a little girl. Never. You have lost your ruddy marbles, pal. She ain't a little girl. She's my little girl. And now I've got a chance, finally, to be a proper dad to her. This is me, Pat, starting from scratch with my baby. Being the kind of dad that I always should have been. And this, this means I'm never going to abandon her again. And this is what I'm going to give her when she leaves court. An innocent woman, this very day. Because she didn't kill that girl, Pat, did she? She was with you, wasn't she? I think I would be going through all this if I didn't have good reason. Do you think about the damage you've caused? Oh, aren't you listening to me, Frank? The damage has already been done by Janine. Oh, darling. Your child is a stranger to you. Mm. Laura was someone's child. I know her parents think she was murdered. I mean, bad enough to lose a kid at all, but murder. And you let them think that's what happened to her. Can you imagine what goes through their minds every night? And the little boy. Bobby. Little Bobby. What do you think he's going to think about as he's getting up? Where's my mummy? What happened to my mummy? Shut mommy? up, Frank. How can you even think of putting a kid through emotional strain like that? I mean, what's he going to do to his mind when he thinks about this world? Shut up. And her friends. And the family. The pain they must have suffered. The pain. Pat, when did you get to be so cruel? That is emotional blackmail. God help us. All this for some cockeyed revenge about nothing. No. Barry had a kid and all. And Jack's been left without a dad because of Barry her. Barry went off into the Scottish mountains wearing a pair of city shoes. Like the dozy big plum he always was. He slipped and he fell. It was an accident. Janine wasn't there. Oh. And because she said something to you, because she's a mixed up unhappy kid, you've taken it as gospel when you should have known damn better. Now I tell you what you're going to do. You're going to tell them that you got it wrong. You was confused. You was upset. But now that you've had time to think about it, you realise that you got it wrong. And you're going to do that before you go into court. All right, Matt? You have no right to tell me what to do. I have every right. This is my daughter we're talking about. And it's you. And I love you, you balmy old horse. Stephanie Crancourt, please. I love you to pieces. I'm doing this for both of my girls. Can't you see that? Colthouse, pal, if you get me there before that one, I'll give you a double. 